Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Building a Zoo together with you on Minecraft, in Minecraft. I don't know what the heck this series is called. All I know is I'm excited to build my very first exhibit. This, my friends, shall be the location of our very first exhibit. And I'm going to make an anteater exhibit. Looks like we've got some uh, visitors already. There, There is no zoo that has been built, but apparently there are already visitors. The first thing I have to do, unfortunately, though, is take down this beautiful tree and the one in front of it. We're going to try to go for kind of a... um. A more natural theme. The last time I tried uh, building a zoo, which was about a year ago, and then the server kind of uh, didn't do so well. We were have we were struggling. The server was struggling. It was a brand new server. Um, we didn't know what we were doing, <laughs> and that's why the series abruptly ended. But now we have ironed out a bunch of bugs, and things are running very, very smoothly. Um, but this season, I am not going to go for a structured, every exhibit is round sort of thing. I'm going to go for a very much more, a very much more, a much more natural approach to building these exhibits. Um, the first one we're going to do, like I said, is the anteater exhibit. I'm kind of excited to get that started. I do have an idea in mind. I googled some anteater exhibits, actually, and I came across one where one, what the back of the, the exhibit was like a, um, like an ancient, it looked like an ancient sort of uh, build, like a sandstone build sort of thing. It's all going to make sense in a second, but I think I'm going to try to not replicate that, but use that as inspiration for what I'm going to do here. So I got a bunch of sandstone already from the resource world. I am ready to build what looks like to be, what well, it looks like ancient ruins. Oh no, my, I need some diamond tools. Um, slash home. Boom. Uh-oh. Okay. Do we have diamonds here, actually? I don't remember if I found... I think I did find some, but I don't know if... One, two, three, four. Perfect. Let's use that as... Uh, our first tool is going to be an axe, because we're going to be taking down a lot of trees. Trees have been cut down. The big one over here and the little one that was on the side here. And I'm going to use this um, natural... That's another thing, too, I'm going to try to do this season, is leave the elevation untouched, or at least very minimally touched. Um, so I'm going to use this sort of um, angle back here to try and make these ruins. Now, I don't know if I'm going to... It's very, very straight right now, but let's just see what happens. We have some sandstone. Oh, we're going to need the chiseled bench here, and we're going to need the stone cutter here because we're going to... We're going to probably use a lot of variations of different blocks. But if I, I figure if I can make the wall kind of flush with about this level, then I can fill in these blocks here with dirt. And this could be a path going around the exhibit. It's not a very big exhibit, but it's an anteater, a giant anteater. They're very, very slow. They're from Central and South America, if I do recall. Oh, let's read some stats about them. The, where was it? The giant anteater. Defensive. It's an insectivore. Huh? That means it eats insects. I'm a smart guy. Um, mammals, South America. Absolutely strange animal. Has lots of quirks. But a lovably goofy face and endearingly unique appearance. Giant an Did two dogs just die there? Or wolves? That was weird. Back to the anteater. A, um, this is the, yes. Giant anteaters have no teeth. A two foot long tongue. They also, sorry. Giant anteaters have no teeth. A two foot long tongue. They use to slurp up ants and giant bear like claws. They use to break open insect mounds or predators. Jaguars, as well as humans, often underestimate the anteater and may even be killed. Really? The giant anteater can kill people? Is that what that's saying? Ooh, I gotta be careful with these guys. <laughs> Fun fact, the carpenter's table is not for sandstone, and I should have known that. In fact, we have to make ourselves... Ooh, I didn't bring a workbench with me. That's okay. We have wood. Um, We have to make ourselves a mason's table, which luckily... Dang it, <laughs> there was some leaves there. Which luckily we have the ability to. Can I do this? Boom, mason's table. Table. Let's build it, or let's put it right over here. Look at this. This is our little station, our workstation. So now we have sandstone. Ooh, what looks ruin-like? I kind of like the... Oh, I definitely like these two. Let me just get a bunch of these, and then we'll play around with the designs a little bit and see how it works. Apparently, or not apparently, sorry, but unfortunately, you can't do like... 
slabs that look like this. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, I think this depth is going to be okay for our floor here. And then we'll have glass railings going all around or some other sort of railings. But for now, let's just go with glass. Oh, it's getting dark again. Okay. So let's see. Let's do... Nope, already I'm screwing up. Let's do some sandstone walls going around the perimeter here. So we'll do one, two, and then we'll do one like this. We'll also do like a little entrance so that the anteaters can actually use this as, um, I guess, uh, shelter, <laughs> right? We got to give them some shelter. Uh, some shelter. You want fries with that? Okay, so now we have to get up here and we have to sort of kind of diagonally place these guys. I don't like the way that looks. The The idea is it's only going to be like this. Oh, dang it. I'm so good at this game. Okay. Okay. Let me just, yeah, let me just do this. Okay. Let me just do this. And there we have the corner of the exhibit. I mean, it's not complete yet. I'm kind of tinkering with the entrance here for the, the den. I don't even know. Do anteaters need dens? I mean, it's not necessarily a den. It's more of like a holding area for when the animals need to get treated and stuff. For they're like, um, well, that kind of looks cool if I do it this way. For their, you know, medicines or if they're not eating, the doctor has to analyze them. And by doctor, I mean veterinarian, which I guess is a doctor anyway. But yeah, I think this will be a cool little area. And I have, oh boy, I am misplacing a lot of blocks today. Something is wrong with me. That's kind of cool. Maybe these blocks are the problem. They're a little too intrusive. So if we do something like this, that's not bad. However, however, not a huge fan. So let me try a different approach. This is what I do for like two hours. Oh, dang it. <laughs> for like two hours, guys. So this is why I don't show. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. This is going to be good. I like this shape a lot better. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Just just place it on the bottom. There we go. That is a cool little entrance. And maybe more detail is happening. Those are two half slabs. Interesting. Um, maybe we do something like this. Oh, that's kind of nice. And now maybe if we put this back, it might make more sense. Oh, I kind of like that entrance. That is really good. I just have to get a block behind there, which I guess would have to be one of these guys, the slab. There we go. I think this is going to look really good. And then I have the fences here because I want the animals to have ventilation. <laughs> it's all about the comfort of the animals this season. Um, so we're going to open this up like so. We'll have a little wall here of dirt. And then the same on this side. Oh, we'll probably make this deeper, to be honest. It's not that deep right now. Also, I'm down to stone picks. Are you kidding me? I know. I should be ashamed of myself. I got to go mining. I get got to get more stuff. All right. So we'll leave it like this for now. And we'll work out. I think maybe I'll put like the food and the water in here too. But this is a really cool looking space for an anteater exhibit. If I do say so myself. Over here. Should we have one of these Got Once again, misplaced the block. Something is definitely wrong with me today. Mm, I don't like that. I kind of like it the way it is where it's sort of holding nothing because it kind of just makes it look like it broke down a little bit which by the way I will have other sections inside the exhibit for the anteaters to uh, to appreciate other than this beautiful build right here okay now for the pièce de résistance that's right you heard me correctly um I have to sort of fill in all the blocks here so this is going to be level I think and then we might even have some glass uh, along the top here Oh, I guess uh, I guess we kind of have to make this the level point to make things make sense here because, uh, well, we could obviously terraform as well, but let's just do this for now and then we'll worry about what makes the most sense afterwards. But for now, let's leave it at that level. There we are. The top is that. Well, I guess you can't you, you can't see it from this angle, really. So let me just go up here and show you. The top is now flush, so people will be able to walk around here and check out the exhibit. So maybe we'll put some glass here and glass here, and then use these little walls as the uh, the barriers on this side. I think that'll look really nice. And then we'll eventually taper down a path going this way, which I have to obviously work on because there isn't much of one right now. But so far, this is my favorite exhibit. 
of this season. <laughs> oh, a little moth guy. Hello. Ah, oh, you're adorable. The anteaters are going to love it, I think. I think they really will. Um, The fun part is yet to come, though, guys. The flooring here, or the ground on... Um, oh, my shovel's almost broken. I have no iron left. I'm going to have to do this with, like, a stone shovel. Anyway, the floor, the ground, whatever you want to call it. There's a couple options we have. Now, I was going to go with, like, um, coarse dirt and a dirt. I don't really want a lot of grass in here. I kind of want to look like... I want it to look a little bit more... Um, Kind of like barren, you know? Even though they're, they're found in Central America, I've seen a lot of exhibits online where they have no grass to very little grass. So I want very little to no grass. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have very little to no grass in this exhibit. Now we have a couple options. Let me show you guys real quick as soon as I finish this last piece of bread. There are things called mulch blocks in this mod pack and the mulch blocks come in various colors. There is oak mulch. And I think if I mix oak mulch with birch mulch, we might have a really good combination that kind of fits with the build colors. So I gotta go get some birch slash home right to the bed. Oh, beautiful. That is convenience if I ever did say so. I don't know what that means. Um, We don't have a lot of birch planks but it's probably enough just to test out so we just mix birch and then i know i have some oak well, yeah we have some oak on us back oh baby okay <laughs> let's get this back oh that's the mason's table let's get this back to normal because i don't can it go back to normal yeah i think that, I, I don't think it works with the uh, i, I should have tried it actually but it's okay all right we got 16 let's just make 32 of those and then we've got um how much of this birch stuff did I have? Was it eight? Oak mulch? There we go. We got 32 and 32. That is a nice color combo. I already kind of... Ooh. I think this is the color we want to go with. And then on top of that, oh, I don't have a shovel. But we're going to do path blocks as well. So, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Now, one thing I don't know is can you plant? Yes, you can. You can plant leaves on this stuff. All right, let me get a better shovel together, or a shovel, period, and get all this cleared out and replace it all with the three blocks we're going with. We're going to go with the birch mulch, the oak mulch, and the path blocks. Here it is taking shape. Oh, I'm loving the way this is looking. I don't know. I'm going to have to read up and see if anteaters are solitary animals, but I think this would be perfect for a one animal exhibit. I really do. Inside here, we've got a little bit of a wall. I got some rope hanging. I really want to make a lamp, but the lamps are a little bit expensive, guys. Check this out. The heat lamps. I mean, I'm not that they need heat lamps, but I just kind of want a lamp, and heat lamps are the way to go. So I need a block of redstone. No problem. No problem. No problem. Uh, no problem-ish. I do have some iron. I went caving for a little while. I got like seven or eight iron. It's not a whole lot. And then I need quartz slabs. So I got to go to the nether and get me some quartz slabs. But it's time to continue decorating this exhibit. Like I said, I wanted some greenery, but not a lot of greenery. So we're going to go with small patches of grass here. Just something like this. Possibly near uh, or against the back wall. Ooh, was I not allowed? Okay, good. Um, eh, Maybe a little bit more. Nothing too special. We'll go out into the field and try to find some... Um, some some plant life that would suit the environment a little better. Maybe even some South American plant life specifically. I don't want that in the middle there. Um, so we'll we'll keep that in mind. And then we've got a little bit of leaf piles. And we'll put the leaf piles near the edge here. Because there are no trees in the exhibit. But possibly some leaves have been blown into the exhibit over time. This is looking amazing. And now for the railing. For the railing I needed a glass blower. So we're going to continue to expand our... Oh, this thing looks so cool. Okay, a glass blower. Ooh. Oh, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here. 32 of these guys. Now can I put these guys in the thing? I can. Okay. Oh, they're different kinds of wood and stuff. And then you got the clear glass panes. Which, for some reason, there's a whole lot of options for. I wonder if they look different. Is there a glass pane with just an outline? Like this? That might look good. That might look good. These guys are a little bit too intrusive, I think. So let me try just one 
This might look good, actually. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I'm gonna need a couple, though, to actually see what it looks like. That, actually, <laughs> I'm kind of excited. Hold on, hold on. Which one was that? <laughs> hold on. Uh, was it? It was this one, right? Boom. Let's just do all 31, because we can change them back. Oh, except for the fact that we don't have... Eesh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Also, I just realized, is the anteater going to be able to jump over the glass? I might not be able to do this. You know what? Oh, good! Oh, that's nice! That's convenient. Um, hmm, going to have to do some research on that. But this is looking good overall. I do want to have some ruins. Not a whole lot of ruins, just some mini stuff here and there. What did I just drop? I don't want to drop you. So, like, we'll just do something like this and then put, like, a... Like that, just occasional ground rubble, um, maybe even a, um, a stone that kind of protrudes from the earth here. Let's try and do it over, I guess here is fine. Just something like this, okay, possibly. Yeah, I kind of like that, this, this piece needs to go though. And then we'll just put this random piece somewhere too, just like that. Oh, this is going to look really nice. The anteater is going to be so happy. Um, I do want some, not not uh, trees, full-blown trees, but I definitely want a little bit of a shrubbery action. Not shrubbery. Twigs. Twigs is the word I'm looking for, guys. English is definitely my first language. So we'll just put a little bit of twigginess in the... Now, there might be better... Ooh, you know what? The rope. The rope might work for branches. Oh, you can't connect it, right? Because it's not like a full block. Um, I was going to say, there might be better ways to do this. I, I'm not familiar with every single block in the game. So if there is a better way, you guys let me know. And I will most likely use it. That looks okay. And maybe we can put some a leaf block on top. Can I grab? Oh, these are all colorful. We don't want a colorful leaf block. We just want like... Just a small leaf block. Slash home. Thank you. Hate that glitch that happens as soon as I teleport. We have some what? Boa baobab. Baobab leaves. Just a couple of those. Spruce might even look better, actually. I don't think I have any more spruce leaves though. Let's just go with these for now because it's what we have. Slash back. This is so convenient. <laughs> so we'll do one like this. And then I want to get one up there. So let me go around here. Um, for the... Uh, like that. Just like this. Just a tiny little bit of shrubbery. And maybe... Maybe... Maybe just one down there. I think I like it on... Nah, I don't think I like that at all, actually. Just maybe one over there. Just a little bush. Looking good, anteaters. You're going to love this. The glass. What am I supposed to do? Hold on. Uh, is it rail? No, rail. They'll be. No, they won't be railing. Uh, Fence. They won't be able to climb the fences. Acrylic, steel, wire, zoo fence. Hmm. Thatch, thatch, rope fence. Ooh. That makes one. And that makes six. That's going to be an expensive rope fence. We can try it, though, and see what it looks like. Oh, boy. I'm a little bit nervous about this. This is going to be expensive rope fence. But that is really high up. I don't think this is what we want. I mean, I think the animal would definitely not be able to climb... We'll use this for later for sure, though, because I really like the way it looks. It almost looks like a climbing net, too, which I think there is a climbing fence, if I'm not mistaken. Climb. No. Oh, wait. No. What is this? Climbing vine. Interesting. All right. We got to figure out the fence situation. I'm thinking these are all going to be probably pretty tall. Will the anteater jump the fence? Glass panes, meaning. <laughs> It's almost time to tame our very first animal, and we're going to need some insectivore kibble. So we need eggs and wheat, and then termites and mealworms. So I have some eggs, I have some wheat. 
Termites and mealworms, however, are a little bit different. You need to construct rotting logs, and then each of them will give you a chance of getting one. Here, I'll just do four. I'll do eight of those, maybe one more of those guys. That's not how you do it at all. Uh, one more of these guys, and then I'll do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Boom, I got 12 of those. So now we should have a chance. Oh, speaking of which, maybe we have a rotting log in the exhibit. I added some greenery up here, by the way. I think it looks pretty good. How about a rotting log right there? Huh? I like it. I think it's a good, it's a good log. It's a good rotting log. Maybe, in, in fact, how about we do two of them like this? I think that's pretty cool. Oh, also, I put the glass all the way around, and I just dug down one block on the part where the glass is. So they might be able to jump here. Maybe. Oh, I don't have a pick anymore. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll put them in there. We'll keep an eye on them. To be safe, I'll probably remove those. But for now, let's try and get some mealworms, shall we? Is it just breaking them like this? Is it with an axe? Oh, my goodness. We need all kinds of stuff. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, boy. We've got four mealworms from the oak rotting logs. Now, the acacia rotting logs should give us termites. Apparently, there's a 10% chance that it yields one to four feeder insects. So, um, not a huge chance, but hopefully, you know, I think I got one. How many did we get? Just the one. Termites. If we can get... Maybe I'll even try to get six. You get four each time, right? Yeah, you get four each time. So it should be enough with what we have, but I'll just try to get four of these termites and then we should be good to try to tame. We gotta make um, food bowls too, actually, now that I think of it. Now we've got three. What do you put inside the food bowls? That is a good question. Did you just put these guys, the mealworms and stuff? Two stone bowls. Huh. Oh, you can put water in there. Okay. That's cool. So what the heck do we put inside? Can you... Here, let's see. Can I put like... Oh! So I can put termites in there. Okay, okay. So maybe I'll farm a bunch of termites. Let me go put these bolt. That sounded like... Oh, that, that was like the you ready your axe sound. Ugh. It sounded like a zombie trying to break down my door. First things first, let's just get these guys out of here, and we will do a little of this action. This should be enough to keep the anteater inside. Of course, we've got this beautiful little oak log that has been rotting away. I still haven't uh, collected any quartz, so I can't make the heat lamp or a lamp, but I'm going to go ahead and put the food bowls. See, I don't know. Hmm. Is there a strategic place? that? Let's put one there and one there. That might be the, the heat lamp's going to warm up their food. I don't want that to happen. Let's let's change sides. One there and one there. So we'll put water in this one, which is good. And now we got to make this kibble. <laughs> Nailed it. Where is the... It's called insect, insect, insectivore kibble, right? Boom. We have 16 of these guys. Okay. So um, I'm assuming what I can do now is... Release the guy here and try to try to tame it. All right, little buddy. This is it. Ooh. Ooh. He jumped a little bit. Red kangaroo. Okay, this capture net is... Okay, tiny, small, medium animals. Now, can I tame you? Yes, we did it! Best friends forever. We've got an anti... Oh, you're adorable! Oh. <gasps> Can I, wait, is the book, yes, hunger, thirst, enrichment, health, 20 of 20, fertility, 2, favorite food, common yellow scorpion, oh, okay, but it will eat, aha, it will eat this stuff, so let's, let's, um, I guess farm up some, I, I'm gonna keep an eye on him to make sure he doesn't want to climb out of here, but let's farm up some, some logs real quick and try to fill his bowl with termites and Earth, do they eat earthworms too? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, do you like earthworms? Uh, I don't think so. Spider eyes. Ooh, that could be a good source of food because there is a spider spawner. Okay. Does the wall smell funny? Probably. I'm sorry. Ah, my sweaty hands placing these, these walls. Oh, you're kind of cool. 
I love the way they look. You don't, you can't tell whether they're coming or going. You don't know if that's the face or the tail. Um, all right, I got, I got a little bit of this stuff here. There we go. I wonder what. Is this just like a symbol or something? Anyway, we've got six termites, four mealworms. I mean, that's not a lot, but I'm pretty sure the animal's hunger does not go down unless I am on the server. So unless I'm standing here AFK, this should be plenty. It doesn't really show the food inside the bowl, though. It worries me a little bit, but it does say that they enjoy the mealworms and the, and the things, right? Yeah, that's, that's termites, that's mealworms, so... We should be okay, but just in case, maybe I should go get the spider eyes that I have. Spider eyes have been added as well. Okay, you've got some food there, pal. Why is this here? This makes me nervous that it's not showing that it's... It's okay. It's okay. This is still a beta, by the way. There's lots that could change with this uh, with this mod pack and this mod, so... <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, I'm not worried. He's going to be fine. It is... Is it a male or a female? Health, fertility... Giant and... Does it say... Oh! female she's gonna be fine hey that's a good that's a good start if i want to breed them i already have a female what is with the fa <laughs> whoa, 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 what what is going on here that is something that <laughs> that is something okay anyway guys that's gonna be it for this episode this beautiful giant ant eater is now in its permanent hopefully permanent home i don't think she'll be able to jump up and escape I really don't uh this section might make me a little nervous can I just borrow a piece of dirt here just to be sure just over here okay that should be fine anyway look at this exhibit guys it's not done yet because there's some supplies that I'm missing I want to put a heat lamp in there and maybe a couple of more exotic plants other than grass in this exhibit but I think it looks fantastic Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.